December 1, 1877, a very short rail line was built between Ligonier and Latrobe by a prominent banking family, the Mellons. Uh, Ligonier was a playground for the rich uh, turn of the century. This is a picture of the train station and people waiting for the train. This is actually on the last day of service, August 31st, 1952. Um, what was the rail line became the second uh, set of lanes to make it a four lane was on the Lincoln Highway, US 30. It travels by Idlewild Park, which was also developed on this train line to increase passenger ridership. I'm going to show you what this looks like today, and uh, it's a train station like no other, and you can see the banker influence in the design of it. Uh, I'm standing in approximately the same place. Uh, it's now um, a facility, I think, for um, uh, Pennsylvania Hunting, Fish, and Game Commission. But now it's a parking lot where the tracks were. Uh, you see the beautiful uh, marble-like building. I say it looks like a bank, but it was actually a train station. The actual length of the railroad was, was a ridiculous 12 miles long. I think one of the reasons behind it is that the uh, streetcar trolley stopped in Latrobe and headed south, so there was really no way to get to Ligonier. So the, the Mellons, uh, with all the money, developed this. They really didn't expect to make any money from it. Uh, it's very nice that uh, Ligonier preserved the past. Uh, just a beautiful building. Uh, I'm standing on the uh, kind of the deck of what would have been the freight house uh, that would go along with this. They did uh, use the line to also trans. Uh, to, you know, to move uh, freight on as well to try to make some money at it. Uh, beautiful little building in Ligonier, Pennsylvania.